That's a beautiful setting. Oh, we're now on our return journey to Barley Moe. We're trying to um, catch a few different sights on the way back, like the houses at Dogmas Field on the left hand side that I missed out on. Oh, no, someone's putting his canoe in. Good good luck to him. Though well, the canoe's a lot higher than this so he should be able to get in quite easily. Oh it's back under the bridge. Car park to the right. Morning. Oh yeah. Yeah, two canoes there. As I said, they're a lot easier to get into off the bank. They're much higher up and the bench is a lot higher. They shouldn't have much of a problem. The guys are just sitting there having a coffee before they set off. Uh, just passed a couple of dog walkers on the bank, had a little chat. Yeah, sometimes it's actually nice to sort of bump into people and just, uh, it's nice to be nice. But I do like the, the solitude, I do like being out on my own. But I've had my feel, you know, if you've had an hour or so paddling on your own, it's enough for you to sort your state of mind out and then you sort of feel like coming back to the reality a bit. And they're all out enjoying the autumn sunshine you know getting fresh air they're all either they're on the water or walking you're of a similar mind well it seems when I came through all that debris I have picked up a load around the skeg I can really feel the drag so what I'm going to do I'm going to do my spinning tricks if I can free it up I'm going to do a complete 360 this time rather than stop it just shows you how manoeuvrable this craft is this uh, Aquatec Ottawa Pro look at it go that's it there's a 360 hopefully that's enough to clear it only problem with a skeg they, they can be a pain in the backside whereas obviously conventional canoe it's got the V shape and it just uh pushes it to the side uh, these skegs they pick up all sorts of rubbish we're on the way back I'm gonna have a little chat with you about um, future plans not so much over the winter if I can I can get back to my walking I'd like to carry on doing a bit of kayaking do a bit of winter kayaking this year but uh, I'll get probably get back to my Kent walk series. But I have got some longer term plans, sort of aiming towards next spring, so there's no pressure, what with work, and Christmas, and obviously just bad weather when you're trying to, you know, with all the good intentions, you just can't get a lot done. But uh, more about that in a moment. wind's quite chilly but it's a little bit warmer than it was earlier with that sun coming out I'm struggling a bit on this bit quite open to my left hand side uh, just coming up to that rather pretty house on the left there's another one further ahead that I want to show you I know you could see it on the way down but you get a better view of the front aspect coming uh, this way certainly a stunning property
there's lots of bits of twig there's acorns falling out of the trees i think that's what hit the back of the deck of the kayak earlier and it bounced off a bit like a drum frightened the life out of me but so yeah there's all sorts dropping off the trees so uh yeah it was nothing dangerous fudding on the back i'll get used to it now as long as they don't start dropping on my head i'm all right Oh, what a lovely day for a paddle. Living the dream, Davy. We're now approaching Double Bridge. I'm surprised how windy it is today. I know they did say it was going to be 10 or 11 breezy, but this is actually quite a strong, strong wind I'm fighting against. Paddling back to Barley Mo. You can see on the water just by the bridge the effect the wind's having on it. I'm getting some wave chop on the front of the kayak. It's strange, it's not something you expect on a canal, you expect it on a river. But uh, <laughs> oh, I'm having to paddle quite hard at the moment and we get there no sign on this one double bridge but I know that's what it's called because I've done my research well once again I'm filming at uh, my eye level rather than really low down i like to try and give you the viewer the perspective as in of, of my height sitting in the kayak rather than really low down or really high up and try and keep it keep it real so now it's onwards to blacksmith's bridge which is about another 150 meters once we go under that we're heading towards Tundry Ponds, which will be on the left. If I see that, I'll uh, tell you a little bit more about that when we get there. Well, I'm out of the wind now, so uh, I'm going to take it nice and easy, have a nice slow paddle for a bit until I have to sort of pick up the stroke to try and fight the wind again. There's Blacksmith's Bridge ahead. And then they'll be on to Tundry Pond and then back to Barley Mow. Such a quaint bridge, they all are. And relatively old, 19, sorry, 19, 1792. That's old, nearly as old as me. Let's dodge these nettles. See the bank here at the bridge, you could easily just pull in here and step out very low. Now, passing point winding hole. Of debris in the water again. I'm going to try and avoid as much of it as I can. Morning. Beautiful, isn't it? I know, that's why I'm out today. <laughs> yeah, just talking to a chap on the bank. I actually think he was um, partially sighted. He had a a stick and a, one of the uh, special vests on so I think I caught him unaware when I shouted out morning but he got his bearings we had a chat I don't know if you heard it but like you said 
it is a nice day tomorrow it's going to turn rather nasty and there's a uh, allegedly quite a storm heading this way so i'll uh, be having a day indoors editing a bit of housework a bit of a chill out and then hopefully it'll be good enough on thursday to get on with my kayak cleaning day or kayak cleaning session I've got a couple more videos planned within the next week or so, but not necessarily going out. Um, I've got no immediate plans for going out. I'll have a think about that probably tomorrow if I'm stuck indoors with a weather blowing a hooli and lashing rain. Yeah, so one of the videos, that videos I'm going to do is when I'm doing my kayak cleanup, uh, I'm going to review the new pump I've been using. I, I don't tend to get buy anything, even if I sent something, but I, I bought this new uh, 12 volt pump. I don't review them straight away. I tend not to do an unboxing. A box is a box. I like to use them a few times uh, to really see what they're like. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a review on the new pump in a comparison to my other pump, which is the Itawit 12 volt pump. Uh, and I'll do that when I've got to inflate the kayak to uh, do the cleanup. I'll tell you something for nothing, this is quite heavy going on the way back. It's a lot easier going down, that wind has really picked up and I can really feel that I'm having to put a lot of work in. There's a lot of resistance on the paddles as compared to uh, going the other way. So I'm, I'm actually quite pleased I turned around when I did. Again, it's about knowing you know how far it's so easy to get carried away start going miles and miles and miles further on and then suddenly the realization sets in that you've got a lot further to paddle back sun's behind me it's blazing down on my neck now and that is really nice because it's, it's still quite chilly out here but it's nice to get a little bit of heat on my back and on the back of my neck I'm out the wind for the moment. Still quite a few skippers about on the uh, water, just sort of skipping along. But pleased to say all the mozzies seem to have died off now, which is a, an absolute blessing. Mozzies, midges, call them what you wish, depending on what part of the country you're in. They're a bugger. So, uh, all that seems to have died off that time of year. Yeah, once I go in the shade, like here, it actually feels quite cold and damp in the air. I'm warm enough because I'm paddling, but um, my face is cold in my arms. You know, I tend not to try and wear anything on my arms for as long as I can because of the uh, water droplets that you often get on your arms. chatting away today getting a load off my chest and bringing you up to date with things I think I shall call it the David Wilson out and about twat chat I mean you've got snapchat and all sorts of things like that so why don't we have twat chat <laughs> Lovely blue sky, but quite dark on the river.
nice to see a young couple walking down the towpath holding hands. Hey, young love. Uh, still quite a few people out on the towpath now. But it's gone midday, so we expect people to try and make the most of this weather, don't we? As we should. It's a long old winter, people, unfortunately. Yes, we are approaching Barley Mow now. There's the narrow boat that's uh, generally moored up on the right hand side. lovely place to live on the river here I can imagine it being quite busy though keep staring into your garden in the summer months look at this little lot waiting for some grub yeah, how's that for a gaff Got their own private boat, jetty. Well, that's it. I'm uh, going to get myself out, get myself some lunch. There's a couple of picnic benches here. So you've got the backdrop of the bridge. The sun's out, so I'm going to have about half hour or so packing away have a spot of lunch and I want to hit the M3, M25 and try and get home before the rush hour traffic kicks in. Well I hope you've enjoyed the video, it's an out and back one, it's a bit of a long one but uh, I needed to get out today, get some fresh air before this rotten weather kicks in. Oh I've got the sun right on my face here, shouldn't moan really, not going to see much of it from now on. Anyway if you're a regular subscriber Thanks for coming back. Thanks for your continued support. I love you all. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please um, consider uh, subscribing. I do upload videos regularly and I'm hoping to get out doing a few more hikes, day walks, rambles and things like that in the near future. And obviously what I discussed earlier in this video, got a lot planned for the future. So uh, please subscribe. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. I'm going to grab some lunch and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.